Hello, welcome back. I'm Ryan. Uh, British words that are rude in America. Hmm. I can think of one for the cigarette. All right, let's go. Wait, what is, you know, when you play GTA Grand Theft Auto, the girls that are out there doing the streets. weird walk like this? Hello. Hi, I'm Christina from the USA. Hi, Hello. I'm Lauren from the UK. Hi, Lauren from the UK. Did you know there are words? Hi, I should have read that. Do you know there are words that mean different things in the US? And you yes, I did. Can you think of any? I don't know. I can't think of any on the top of my head, but I'm sure that. Oh, what about like crisps, fish and chips? There are definitely words. I'm excited. <laughs> No way! That means that's a position in rugby. <laughs> I wonder what he does. What's the position? Rugby. Uh, I'm just one of the team's forwards. Okay. <laughs> Does he like go and hook around? Wait, Does what he is, like? I mean, hooker in the U.S. would be like, you know, the girls. I love how you're like going, getting ready to do the action. <laughs> you know, when you play GTA Grand Theft Auto, the girls that are out there doing the, the weird walk like this. Street walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The late night girls, you know. The like ladies of the play. night. So, yes. Hooker in the U.K. is a position in rugby. Oh. Which is a sport, you know, with like yeah. a ball shaped ball. You know, I know rugby, but I like don't know anything about rugby. Yeah. <laughs> it's not to popular. To be honest, I don't really know a lot about rugby, but my younger cousin played rugby and his position was hooker. And the first time I heard it, I was like, excuse me? Yeah, see, like, you say that, I'm Sorry, just what? like, your position is a... So you guys, uh, she just said she was like, excuse me? But she's from Britain, so. <laughs> That's his position in the team. Yeah. <laughs> Loaded. Okay. No. You could say you're loaded. That absolutely could mean wealthy. Yeah, in the UK, loaded means really rich. Yeah. Like, oh, she's loaded. I heard that too in the in the US. We say loaded. I think maybe maybe loaded. Who put this together? Loaded absolutely means loaded, rich. Very drunk. Maybe from different areas in the US. I think in the, the East Coast, I don't hear it too much. I don't hear that here in the Midwest. usually say wasted. Wasted. Yeah, yeah sure, just, wasted. But it could be different in other places. I mean, loaded. He's absolutely loaded. That would be really weird, though, yeah. for me. If you were like, oh, he's loaded, I'd be like, what? <laughs> dummy means pacifier? What's a dummy in America? I know bull. Like a dummy, like a pacifier. But yeah, like dummy. You I had no idea. Dum dum dummy. <laughs> yeah, no, we say dummy for pacifier. I actually didn't know what a pacifier was. I call it a binky. Was. I just learned it from watching TV shows, but the first time I heard it, I was like, what's a pacifier? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of different words for pacifier. Like growing up, I think there's a brand called like binky. And oh. so I remember growing up, just where I'm from, Massachusetts, we would say, we would say binky. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, instead of pacifier. <laughs> But dummy, also I think dummy like a like a fake person. Hmm, a dummy, yeah, absolutely. That's like a like a crash test dummy. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I totally didn't think about that. Oh right? yeah, like not like a statue, but like a dummy. You know, like in a store. Mannequin. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, a dummy or a mannequin. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. a like a where you mm. put the clothes on. So if you said, oh, can you get the dummy? Like, okay, this is like really weird. Imagine scenario. I have a baby. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> like, like there's a baby and like it's a pa there's a pacifier. Like, oh, can you go to the other room while well, you hold the baby? Can you go to the other room and get the dummy? And I'd be like. Oh, okay, and then maybe I'll get like a mannequin out or... No, there's <laughs> not going to be a mannequin or, in my house. Or I'm like, who's the most... Who's Where is she going with this? Stupid person in your room, Lauren. <laughs> get them out, be like, you want this, this person? No, take him away. <laughs> I feel like from context you could get it. Yeah, maybe. yeah, because I've also heard dummy before as pacifier. I've never I heard that. Maybe not so common. It really depends too in the US because we use different... Not even words. once. 
Home, homely. <laughs> I hate pronouncing that word. Homely. Homely. It's a homely person. It means old in, a, so in the UK? Okay. In the UK, hmm. it means like comfortable, cozy. Like All right, no. Here it means... I wouldn't say it means old. I got those backwards. Okay, so they're saying it means old? No, it doesn't. It means like raggedy. <laughs> Not old. So homely in the UK, it means like comfortable, cozy, like you're at home, you, right. just, you can relax there. It's nice and cozy. We, if for that, we would say homey. Homey? Yeah, homey. Not homely. Oh, just... yeah, like that's homey. Yeah, so it's a, it's a little different. Like, oh, this house is really, Interesting. really homey. It's really cozy and comfortable. But if you say homely, I know it can be like maybe an insult for older people. Like you're kind of like run down and old. And so <laughs> it's a little different. I've never thought of it as being for older people. People. Hom hom homely. Gosh, I can't. Yeah, just unattractive. I've never heard. I can't believe. I don't know why they're saying old people. Not very attractive. I don't think it has anything to do with being old. Not that I've known. It just means you're like kind of like uh, not put together. And this is kind of the opposite of what you would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it can be kind of like an insult. It's Absolutely. It's definitely like a low key insult. You would never say it to someone's face. I think the best. But if you're trying to be nice, like talk crap about somebody and trying to be like not super mean, you'd be like, oh, you know, she was a little homely. This one was hooker. I was going to say that too. <laughs> hooker Man. was really funny. Can you imagine like having a conversation with someone? Oh, my position is a uh, hooker. I'm a hooker. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you go to the US and tell someone, because people in the US, they don't really know about <laughs> rugby, the sport. Mm -hmm. So it is if funny. you say. I wonder if they call it a hooker here in, in Rex, since people do play rugby. Not a lot, but some, like at colleges, there are some rugby teams. Um, at least there was a rugby club at my, at the university I went to. Um, I wonder if they call it a hooker, the, the, uh, that position in rugby. I, I assume they would. Hooker? It'd be kind of funny You're though. You're gonna think it's something else completely. Imagine. Oh, so like, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, I'm a sportsman. If you're from I'm the a UK, sportsman. you're traveling to the US and you are... No one would say that here in the US. Just speaking of words that, you know, are different. No one would say, oh, I'm a sportsman. <laughs> You'd say you're an athlete, like a professional athlete, if that's what you're trying to, you know. I've never heard someone's, oh, I'm a sportsman. Playing rugby, <laughs> maybe <laughs> you should be careful. And say that you play rugby first, and yeah. that your position is a hooker. Purse? Oh, purse? Yeah. Wait, what's purse in the UK? Purse yeah, purse in the UK. Like yeah. a bag mm -hmm. that, you, that you carry. What's in the UK, it's purse. wallet. Oh. My purse. Your purse is yeah. a wallet? And this is a bag. Handbag. Ah, we would say purse or like pocketbook. Now she's got the UK has this a little bit mixed up. In the US, that's still a wallet, but it goes in your purse. Pocketbook? <laughs> Have you heard that? <laughs> so yeah. yeah, we will say purse. <laughs> she's not heard pocketbook. Like, yeah, a little wallet. Oh, yeah, we just say wallet. Put the wallet in your purse. Put the purse in your bag. <laughs> Wait, now she's confusing me. Do you guys say purse or do you say wallet? Yeah. <laughs> and if I was gonna say like, oh, I'll give you a ring later. I mean, I would think. That you're gonna call me. Ring. <laughs> or ring. Yeah, ring. Uh, okay. I'll give you a ring. Okay. We always say ring for calling somebody. Sure. Yeah, I've heard that before, but it's not too common. Maybe like older people say that in the US. <laughs> like I can hear my parents saying that. For my friends, they'll they'll usually just say, oh, I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Yeah. Mm. I'll ring you later. Wait, and you guys also say ring, like ring up for the super Kids these days don't even call each other. They just text or Snapchat. Market, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we don't say that like at oh. all. Oh, interesting. Okay. We say scan. I think it's more common to say ring. Yeah, I ring it up. scan too, but I think ring. 
can I ring up your items? Yeah, ring. Ooh. Okay, so today we went over some words that have different meanings in the US. I can't believe they didn't bring up cigarettes. First of all, I mean, I guess I can. I guess I can, although based on the title of this video, I thought they were gonna bring up cigarettes. But um, that's really the only one that's rude. They, they, these weren't all necessarily rude. Yeah, a little bit. I, I got a little bit clickbaited, I guess, but um, definitely uh, cigarettes. But um, crisps, I think, like, aren't crisps french fries or something? Don't you call it a crisp? British crisp. What is a crisp? Or that's what I meant. They're chips. And then chips are french fries. Yeah, crazy. Crisps. I would like some crisps with my sandwich. Okay. Have a fantastic day. I'll be here tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe to join me again tomorrow. We're having fun here. Okay. Goodbye.